The first step, we will attach the timing belt and raise the telescope with the raised cubes. First, undo the rings. out and slide the belt on so it sits on the helical focuser between the rings next undo the bolts attaching the tail to the rings Now attach the race cubes with longer and six bolts. You can straighten up the cubes before tightening. Now we will attach Deep Sky Dead Auto Focuser 3 to the telescope. Uh, first, make sure you move the dot uh, to the front, so it's approximately in this position. So there is enough space in the long slot for the motor, approximately like so. Next, connect the pulley to the motor, a few millimeters from the top of the shaft. Put the aluminium bracket onto the motor and attach it with three M3 bolts. You can first use just two bolts. Do not tighten them down fully yet, just so they hold the bracket. And now move the bracket so that the holes of the motor are in the center of the slotted holes of the bracket and tighten the two bolts down. Add additional two bolts for security, and tighten them down. Now we will attach the motor with M6 bolts to the dovetail. First make sure that the timing belt is on the gear ring of the telescope. Now move the motor between the telescope and the dovetail and put the belt onto the pulley of the motor, like so, and attach it with two M6 bolts. Do not tighten the bolts down just yet. Now before you tighten down the bolts, move the motor so that the position of the belt of the pulley is in line with the gear ring. After you do that, tighten the M6 bolts down and this should also tighten the belt in the optimal position. <coughs> belt is in optimal position because the tightness is, is uh, just uh, right. Now, if the belt is too tight, you can move the motor higher in the bracket in the slotted holes. If the belt is too loose, move the motor lower inside the slotted holes of the bracket. That's about it. Check out our demonstration video of this focuser for movement and stay tuned. Clear skies.